Rattan Naval Tata is an Indian industrialist, investor, philanthropist, and a former chairman of Tata Sons who serves as its chairman emeritus. He was also chairman of Tata Group, during 1991-2012, then served again, as interim chairman, from 24 October 2016 through February 2017, and continues to head its charitable trusts. He is the recipient of two of the highest civilian awards of India, Padma Vibhushan 2008 and Padma Bhushan 2000. He is an alumnus of the Cornell University College of Architecture, and Harvard Business School. Early life Ratan Tata was born in Bombay, now Mumbai, on 28 December 1937, and is the son of Naval Tata born in Surat. His biological maternal grandmother had been the sister of Hirabai Tata, wife of group founder Jamshaji Tata. His biological father, Hormus G. Tata, had belonged to the broader Tata family, Naval therefore was a Tata by birth. Parents Naval and Sano separated in 1948 when Ratan was 10, and he was subsequently raised by the widow of Sir Ritanji Tata, his grandmother, Navabai Tata, who formally adopted him through the J. N. Petit Parsi Orphanage. He has a half-brother, Noel Tata from Naval Tata's second marriage with Simone Tata, with whom he was raised. His first language is Gujarati. He studied at the Campion School till the 8th class Cathedral and John Connon School and at Bishop Cotton School in Shimla, N. In 1955, graduated from Riverdale Country School in New York City. In 1959, he then received a B. Arch. degree in architecture with structural engineering from Cornell University, and, in 1975, graduated from the Advanced Management Program of Harvard Business School an institution which he has since endowed. Career In 1961, Tata began his career in the Tata Group, working on the shop floor of Tata Steel, shoveling limestone, and handling the blast furnace. Promoted to management during the 1970s, he then endured trial by fire and was able to turn group company National Radio and Electronics around, only to see it collapse during an economic slowdown. In 1991, J.R.D. Tata stepped down as chairman of Tata Sons, naming him his successor. When he settled down into the new role, he faced stiff resistance from many companies' heads, some of whom had spent decades in their respective companies and rose to become very powerful and influential due to the freedom to operate under J.R.D. Tata. He began replacing them by setting a retirement age, and then made individual companies report operationally to the group office and made each contribute some of their profit to build and use the Tata Group brand. Innovation was given priority and younger talent was infused and given responsibilities. Under his stewardship, overlapping operations in group companies were streamlined into a synergized whole, with the Salt to Software Group exiting unrelated businesses to take on globalization. During the 21 years he led the Tata Group, revenues grew over 40 times, and profit, over 50 times. Where sales of the group as a whole, overwhelmingly came from commodities when he took over, the majority sales came from brands when he exited. He boldly got Tata T to acquire Tetley, Tata Motors to acquire Jaguar Land Rover and Tata Steel to acquire Chorus. All this turned Tata from a largely India-centric group into a global business, with over 65% revenues coming from operations and sales in over 100 countries. He conceptualized the Tata Nano Car. As he explained in a recent interview for the Harvard Business School's Creating Emerging Markets project, the development of the Tata Nano was significant because it helped put cars at a price point within reach of the average Indian consumer. Ratan Tata resigned his executive powers in the Tata Group on the 28th of December 2012, upon turning 75, appointing as his successor Cyrus Mistry, the 44-year-old son of Palonji Mistry of the Shapurji Palonji Group, the largest individual shareholder of the group and related by marriage. On 24 October 2016, Cyrus Mystery was removed as the chairman of Tata Sons and Ratan Tata was made interim chairman. The decision went through intense media scrutiny that made many scrutinize the root causes of the sudden removal, and the resultant crisis. A selection committee was formed to find a successor. The selection committee consisted of Mr. Tata, TV's group head venue Srinivasan, Amit Chandra of Bain Capital, former diplomat Ronan Sen and Lord Kumar Bhattacharya. 
All of them, except Mr. Bhattacharya, were on the board of Tata Sons. On 12 January 2017, Natarajan Chandrasekharan was named as the chairman of Tata Sons, a role he assumed in February 2017. Tata invested personal savings in Snapdeal one of India's leading e-commerce websites and, in January 2016, Tbox, an online premium Indian tea seller, and Kashgaro.com, a discount coupons and cashback website. He has made small investments in both early and late stage companies in India, such as 0.95 crore Indian rupees in Ola Cabs and 1 crore Indian rupees in Paytm. In April 2015, it was reported that Tata had acquired a stake in Chinese smartphone startup Xiaomi. In October 2015, he partnered with American Express, investing in Bitcoin venture Abra. In 2016, he invested in Nestaway and online pet care portal, Dogspot. Tata Motors rolled out the first batch of Tigor electric vehicles from its Sanon plant in Gujarat, regarding which Ratan Tata said, Tigor indicates a willingness to fast forward India's electric dream. The government has set an ambitious target to have only electric cars by 2030. Topic: <laughs> Philanthropy. Tata's strong belief of giving wealth back to the people is reflected in his donations of approximately 60 to 70% of his wealth, especially in the support of education, medicine and rural development, distinguishing him as a leading philanthropist in India. Topic. Tata Hall In 2010, Tata Group Companies and Tata Charities donated $50 million for the construction of an executive center at Harvard Business School HBS. The executive center has been named Tata Hall, after Ratan Tata AMP 75, Chairman Emeritus of Tata Sons. The total construction costs have been estimated at $100 million. Tata Hall is located in the northeast corner of the HBS campus, and is devoted to the Harvard Business School's mid-career executive education program. It is seven stories tall, and about 155,000 gross square feet. It houses approximately 180 bedrooms, in addition to academic and multipurpose spaces. TCS Hall. Tata Consultancy Services TCS has given the largest ever donation by a company to Carnegie Mellon University for a facility to research in cognitive systems and autonomous vehicles. TCS donated $35 million for this grand 48,000 square foot building that is going to be called TCS Hall. Topic: <laughs> Board Memberships and Affiliations. He was the interim chairman of Tata Sons. He continues to head the main two Tata Trusts Sir Dorabji Tata Trust and Sir Ratan Tata Trust and their allied trusts, with a combined stake of 66% in Tata Sons, Tata Group's holding company. He has served in various capacities in organizations in India and abroad. He is a member of Prime Minister's Council on Trade and Industry and the National Manufacturing Competitiveness Council. He is on the jury panel of Pritzker Architecture Prize, considered to be one of the world's premier architecture prizes. He is a director on the boards of Alcoa Inc., Mandela's International and Board of Governors of the East-West Center. He is also a member of the Board of Trustees of University of Southern California, Harvard Business School Board of Dean's Advisors, X Prize and Cornell University. He is a member on the board of International Advisory Council at Bocconi University. He is also a member of the Harvard Business School India Advisory Board (IAB) since 2006, and previously a member of the Harvard Business School Asia Pacific Advisory Board (APAB) 2001 to 2006. In 2013, he was appointed to the board of trustees of the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. In February 2015. Ratan took an advisory role at Kalari Capital, a venture capital firm founded by Vani Kola. In October 2016, Tata Sons removed Cyrus Mystery as its chairman, nearly four years after he took over the reins of the over $100 billion conglomerate. Ratan Tata made a comeback, taking over the company's interim boss for four months. 
On 12 January 2017, Natarajan Chandrasekharan was named as the chairman of Tata Sons, a role he assumed in February 2017. Honours and awards Ratan Tata received the Padma Bhushan in 2000 and Padma Vibhushan in 2008, the third and second highest civilian honours awarded by the Government of India. The other notable awards are <laughs>